So quick update on the final bits of the build. As you can see, I got all the skirts now installed. I got the bottom panel on. Uh, the screen, I was finally able to move to the front by rearranging the board. I'll include a layout of how I was able to do that. Um, one of the things I discovered, they asked you to use VHB tape it's for these uh, fans and the fan inserts. I thought it's actually better just to put the um, zip ties on there. Otherwise that VHB tape is hard to get around three different areas to stick. And also when I hooked up the fans, um, I did them in parallel at 24 volts and they were sounding like a jet engine taking off. So I jumpered the spider board to 12 volts and you can hear it's super quiet and uh, it's keeping the temperatures down. I'll show a screenshot of the temperatures. Right now I'm printing PLA after several days of printing ABS and I ran into a ton of issues uh, trying to change that filament out. I had to take apart the entire tool head and soak it in acetone uh, to get it to finally work. And here you can see I have the Raspberry Pi camera with the infrared so I can monitor everything remotely. Um, so what else? You know, the back is all buttoned up now. Um, I still have to finish the air filter. Um, I have that little piece of foam wedged in there to keep some heat when I'm doing the ABS. And I got the ethernet hooked up. Oh, there's my serial number. 1860 and I got the ethernet and I got the blank plug put in there along with the rest of the skirts and the Z motor covers all around so I don't know if I covered this before but I have these uh, heavy duty handles they come in handy when you have to lift this thing up so there's that I also wanted to show um, I got this cheap little thermometer at like a dollar store. It was literally a dollar. And it's great when you're doing ABS. Um, it came with this two-sided uh, tape that you can stick on the inside of the Voron. So when you're printing ABS, uh, you can look at the chamber temperature real easy. So it's a quick little tip if you can find these thermometers, they're good to have. And then here's the main sale screen where you can see the Raspberry Pi camera. It's got the perfect uh, location to be able to watch and monitor the prints remotely. And you can see my temperatures. Um, I turned on the MCU, which is a spider board, and the Raspberry Pi so I can monitor the temperatures. So you can see the fan, those two fans I put at 12 volts, is keeping the boards cool. And they're right below um, a heating pad that actually when I'm doing ABS is at 100 degrees. So the Raspberry Pi stays around 39, 40 degrees. And the MCU is just a little bit warmer than room temperature. So, it works out really well. And I also switched over to um, Super Slicer. So this is Super Slicer. It just has better <clears throat> profiles for the Voron and it seems to be able to handle stuff a lot better um, when you're printing. All the settings are tweaked and fine-tuned and I've noticed the prints actually come out better. So. I, rec I recommend Super Slicer <clears throat> after using years of using Cura. You know, the Cura has just turned into a kind of a mess for me. So that's it. The Voron's done. The next steps are for me to, uh, I ordered a Dragon High Flow Hot End and I'm going to be making a tool changer. So I'm going to be crimping some quick disconnects so I can switch between PLA and ABS without going through that nightmare I had before. I'll just keep two separate tool heads for each plastic. And other than that, um, whatever other minor upgrades I'm going to do over time, maybe the carrot feeder, we'll see. Thanks, that's it.